This is the Snap 3 Pro. It's the phone grip that doesn't suck. Well, that's what OSnap's slogan is at least. After countless amounts of feedback, we've been introduced to the third version of this phone grip, but is it actually any good? Let's check it out. So as I mentioned, this is the third version of the Snap Grip, the Snap 3 Pro. Funny enough, I actually have the original Snap Grip right here, and you can really see the changes that they made to get to this point. Let's talk about the original first. The original had a two-part design. The back plate and the metal ring that you would use to stick onto your phone or case, and then you would just connect the Snap Grip magnetically, like so. The back plate had a, an elastic built right in that you would just use to slide your fingers in in order to hold your phone. This new version features a hinge-like design. You have to pop it open in order to be able to hold your phone. Very similar to a pop socket. There is no metal ring this time around, but on the back there is a reusable adhesive ring that you can use to stick onto your phone or case, which is recommended. You can actually see that I haven't peeled the back off of mine yet. I haven't done so specifically for this video. I actually wanted to test out the strength of the magnets within the snap grip here. And it's a good thing that I did because I found that the magnets here are much stronger than what they were before. So you don't technically need to use the adhesive. If you're rocking a MagSafe compatible case like this one, you can use the snap grip like so. And it stays put. Obviously, if you shake hard enough, it will detach, but if you use it normally, you should be fine. If you have an older iPhone or an Android phone though, you will have to resort to the adhesive. Keep in mind that if you're using a naked iPhone, the magnets here aren't strong enough to hold the phone as well as when it's in the MagSafe compatible case. The Snap 3 Pro is also very thin. It's only two and a half millimeters thick, which is basically as thick as a nickel. It's a very minimal design, which makes it very easy to slide in and out of your pants pocket. Being this in it also allows you to wirelessly charge your phone without having to remove the grip. And like we mentioned earlier, you are able to use MagSafe products as well. The downside to the snap grip now is the materials used. Yes, it's plastic just like before, but it feels noticeably cheaper now due to the thickness. I know it's all intentional, but you can't help but think that you might end up breaking it by accident at some point, which might be a negative to some people. Now, I won't go through the installation process because there are videos out there on how to do it properly. Luckily, if you have something that's MagSafe compatible, it's as easy as... this. But don't worry, if you happen to have installed it wrong, since the adhesive is reusable, you can just remove the snap grip with the credit card and then reinstall it. So first things first, the snap grip is magnetic, which means that you can attach it to any metal surface and it does come in handy. You can place it on gym equipment, the fridge to keep track of a recipe, or even a metal railing to help you take a selfie. And this leads me to my next point. The snap grip is super thin, which means you can use it with wireless chargers without having to remove it from your phone, unlike the competition. This also means that you can use MagSafe chargers as well. You can also use it as a kickstand. You can position it in either portrait or in landscape mode. While in landscape, it's super sturdy, but in portrait, not so much. Lastly, the snap grip can rotate 360 degrees. So you can hold it in any position. And as a plus, if you get bored, you can spin it around like so, which is rather fun to do. When it comes to the price, I paid the full retail price of $29.99 US or $40 Canadian. This puts it at the same price as the magnetic pop socket. 
I personally think it's a bit on the expensive side, but on the bright side, you only have to pay it once. Not to mention that when you look at the value for your money, you get a lot more functionality with the snap grip than you do with the competition. The Snap 3 Pro is actually a pretty good phone grip. It's versatile yet functional. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like the design is too similar to a pop socket now. If you ask me, I prefer the design of the original Snap Grip. I like that all you had to do was slide your finger in and it worked. With the Snap 3 Pro, there's that extra step of having to pop it open before you can use it, just like a pop socket. I found at times when I was using my phone a lot, I would leave the Snap 3 Pro open to make it more convenient to use. Other times, if I was checking something quick, I wouldn't even use the Snap 3 Pro. Two major things that weren't issues with the original. If they were able to somehow combine the original design with the Snap 3 Pro's functionality, you would have something really great. I know I'm being super picky here, but hey, I have to be honest. So would I recommend buying, shortlisting, or passing on it? I say buy it. Osnap is definitely on the right track with the Snap 3 Pro. Yes, it works very similar to a pop socket now, but it's a design that a lot of people are gonna be familiar with. Not only that, but the fact that it's super thin, magnetic, and MagSafe and wireless charging compatible make it a winner in my books. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and slap that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment box down below. If you want to keep seeing more reviews like this one, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. That's it for me, guys. As always, I'll catch you on the next video.